cute. love for you to subscribe because this channel is all about creativity and inspiration. I hope you feel inspired to create something amazing. Feel free to share the inspiration because life is a journey we make together. I've been making things since I was three. Creating is my happy place and my passion. My hope is that you feel inspired as a result of watching my videos and create something incredible. I would love to hear about it by leaving me a comment below and give a thumbs up for other interested viewers. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. And now I will show you how this adorable quilt was made. How cute is this? I love to make baby blankets. I just put the chenille anywhere around stuff, the clouds, the clouds I'm going to put in the white. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. So I've done round one on my clouds and you know, it is so fun and so cool. Um, I decided that it'd be really great if I chenilled that and I only had a little bit more. So I ordered some more. So I ended up getting a different brand, but this will be a great way to see a comparison. So I'm working on one of my sheep here. I'm trying not to sew right on top of another piece of chenille that I've already placed down. So I kind of try to move it out of the way. It's a lot of, you know, going around in circles. I wouldn't work with more than a yard at a time because it's a little cumbersome if you're going to go around and around. but. It's very doable. I have a little helper today. And he's turning out so cute. Oh my gosh. Now another thing that I wanted to point out, on the dritz it, it said to put two pieces on top of each other, which I didn't do last time and I didn't do this time either. So I just do the seam in the middle and then I kind of butt it up against each other and then put another other seam in on the other side. So I think that this will give sufficient enough fluff. Well, I gotta say, it's just turned out so cute and I haven't washed it yet and that's when the magic really happens but look at that oh my gosh so this is without it being washed so I'm super happy that I washed it first because there's a couple areas that I do want to address there's a seam that I need to fix but so happy to fix it now right so before I put it together So one tip that I do have is find yourself something that has a point. I've used a pen before, but this really is a little bit more useful because it can, you know, just get the sides out of the way so that I don't sew. You can kind of use it to guide the bias tape. So I want to use up the last little piece of bias tape that I have. So I'm just kind of looking here and seeing where I want to place it. And that if you hold it up to the light, you can really kind of see some blank areas that you, just your fabric is showing. So that's where I am going to target next. My crazy dog. You're a crazy dog. Just finishing up. So I've squared up the top and I've made my rounded corners. And now I've just placed it on my backing pinned it so I can cut it out the exact size. And I just did a little running stitch with some pearl cotton to kind of make my ruffle. And then I could kind of pin it where I wanted it. And I think this is going to work great. So I've sewed the ruffle in. 
my backing on, right sides together. I'm going to pin this all the way around. Give yourself an opening because you're going to have to turn it inside out. So I've marked it by two pins where I want to stop sewing. So I love the big reveal. I flipped it inside out and it's just as cute as can be. So the next step is to just hand sew the seam in. Not a big deal. It's about 12 inches. I love how the baby blanket turned out. It is just super cute. It was super easy to make. Love the chenille in it. Just gives it that extra punch. Flowers are so cute. How fuzzy. The sheep are adorable. I embroidered the bee. It was just super fun to make. Love the chenille it. I think I like it a little better than the dritz it. This seems to be a little thinner and after I washed it some of the thread did come off so I'm not quite so happy with that so my vote is the chenille it. Just love it. Happy sewing!